Like any dad would do, Tom Martinez didn't hesitate to go help his son out with car troubles early Sunday morning. Uh, I got a call from my son uh, at midnight uh, telling me that he had got a flat tire. He needed my help to help the tire. So I went over and changed, uh, helped him change the tire. He was there with his friend, uh, uh, Julio. Martinez recalls that day telling Action 4 News that he, his son, and 20-year-old Julio Cesar Lacayo were standing on the shoulder of the expressway in McAllen trying to change the tire. But all of a sudden, they heard the screeching of other tires, a sound that brought their world to a halt. We pretty much knew that there was going to be an accident, so at that point I yelled to jump, to clear the way, to get out of the way. So we all dove across, but um, you know, it turns out that Julio did not. He stayed there. The oncoming pickup slammed into Julio, pinning him against his friend's car, killing him. Martinez rushed to help Julio and says he thought the dark colored pickup that hit his son's friend would lend a helping hand. I thought that he was going to give me room so that I could reach aid and uh, give aid to Julio. But no, he started to take off. Police suspect the pickup that hit Julio was racing another truck along the expressway where they proceeded to lose control. Two other vehicles, a light colored pickup and a blue green convertible was also seen during the time of this accident. As for Martinez, all he wants is for those who did this to turn themselves in. If they're scared right now, they should uh, take into consideration this side, these families that witnessed that, that accident, horrible accident and that are now having to put, you know, a Julio to rest, but with this over our shoulders, it's, there's just no peace.